What is going on guys and thank you for joining me. Welcome back to another episode of Creating a Legacy with FC United of Manchester. Now I started on this screen basically just so you can kind of see where we are in the league table now. I kind of wanted to share it because after 26 games I think this is the best we've done in the previous season. So season 4 could be our year guys um we've actually had a couple of bad games or i think we would have been close to the top so since you were last with us for the wrexham game we followed that up with two fantastic back-to-back -back away games against stockport and salford before one all drawn and eaten at home before we followed that with the victory against gloucester 2-0 um this is where we've slipped up recently um uh, 1-1 one, one away to Hyde, a 2-1 away to Ashton United, which we were actually winning 1-0, before a one all draw to Boston, who are in second, so it's not the end of the world that we got the draw against them. Sorry, they've dropped down third now. So we're six points off top, um, with, I think it's how many games is it? 30, it's a fair few games left, a fair few games left. But um, team's going well. O2's top in the average room, but he is out for quite a while. Um, Nizic has the top clean sheets with 13 as well. Um, what I will say today, we are going with Ramirez Howarth up front. Um, he's only played the 14 games for us since joining 2017, but our strikers aren't scoring, so I think it makes sense that we do give him a chance today. Um, also, with um, O2 out, we are playing uh, over uh, Jeria in um, the advanced playmaker role. Um, Martin is back on the left wing. We do have Sibson available if we need to bring him on. Um, Bram Ellison is stepping up this season. He's played 39 games for this season. The most he's played compared to any other season. He's definitely our first choice central midfielder now. But let's get into the game against North Furby, shall we? I'm just getting attacked by my cat under the table, which is always nice. Um, right, we'll go with the standard for now, and then we'll give it a few minutes and see exactly who in the opposition is doing well and who is not doing well. Now, the eagle-eyed viewer will, will remember that I said we would be back for the Boston game. We were due to be back for the Boston game, but I genuinely just clicked play match before I realised I was due to record there. Um, ball across, it's coming around, it's like a ping ball, but it's gone out and that's a goal kick for us. So I definitely think a victory is kind of, it's not vital, we've still got a fair few games left, um, 15 I think it is after this. But um, I think we don't want to start dropping 9 or 7 or still 6 points behind, the leaders are generally think, I want to try to push on, I, I honestly think we can win the title, we've played well this season. Um, and I think it's the first time at this stage of the season we've still had a, a realistic possibility where we've not been hanging on. We're not hanging on now. We actually deserve to be up here. Now, North Herbie have been started decent, so let's um, just check out exactly who's doing well for them. Um, Carvel and Nabi in the middle and Wawa Kababari. Yep, pronounce that when you're drunk. Okay, let's um, make sure we hit this guy hard. Um, also, this one. Ah, yes. Yeah, so, do you know what? I genuinely didn't notice that they were playing wing backs. Because now, I'm going to go on my tactics. I'm going to click on Martin. I'm going to click him. Man mark the wing back. Man mark the wing back. That is going to give our fullbacks the possibility of having a lot more freedom on the ball, a lot less pressure on them, the fact that our wingers are getting back and doing a defensive job as well as the fullbacks. So, really hope we can totally sniff out them having any play whatsoever on the wide. Out wide. We have struggled in the past with this formation a little bit. Um, I think what I'm going to do at half time as well is I'm going to make the defensive midfielder a playmaker. Um, you might see I've done that a few times this season. Just to kind of get a bit of freedom in there because there's nobody for him to mark. Um, they don't really have many attacking players so we might as well keep him deep. Keep him deep so he's still, so he's still in that um, deep role so he's not getting closed down by the midfield but He's going to be on the ball a lot more now. Um, and if you notice, I actually took off Cox, who is more of a just defensive midfielder, and I brought on Johnson, who can spread the ball fantastically. So sitting in that hole, I really do hope he's going to 
be a very creative player for us in the second half. Preston gets it back to Carvel. We've blocked it. Ellison. The break's on, is it? Up to Mata. He flicks it on to nobody. Right, come on. So we've had more shots, we've had more possession, good, better pass and accuracy, and we're probably going to lose, no, now we'll look. <laughs> now, nah, that's, um, that's previous season mentality right there. Johnson with the header out, well played Johnson. He's not in there to win the headers, he's in there to pass the ball, so I'm impressed he's doing the dirty work. Right, come on. It's back and it is 1-0. Do you see what I was saying, guys? Do you see what I was saying? I said... We absolutely dominate and we will end up going 1-0 down and that is exactly what's just happened. Cava with the ball in and it's off the crossbar and... Oh, dear me. Dear, dear me. Ball in. Ellison's cleared it. Um, what's going on? Mas Mas Masterson, he lays it back. Go a bit more attacking. More well, route one. Just no mess around, just get it up there and let's just get. Mills in the Bell Baggy. Bell Baggy's been fantastic this season. He's keeping Linfield out and it literally is just because of his performances. I'm not going to drop someone who's playing well. So he deserves to be in the team at the minute. Bender in the Morton. Morton lays it back. Bring on Simpson in his preferred role, the advanced attack midfielder. It'll be the first time he's actually got a chance to play there. That's cleared those. Preston. Great ball over the top. Fair play to him there. Preston again. Preston is in the Abbey. Come on. Honestly, the last few games, we've just been struggling a bit. Um, it, no. It's so frustrating when we actually look like a good side. We pass the ball well, we attack well, we move the ball well. But it's just that at the minute, it's our final product. Our strikers aren't scoring. We signed that Northern Ireland international, if you remember, a couple of episodes ago. He picked up a injury for two months after only playing a couple of games. I mean, we're still sitting in fifth, but we've gave the the chase and pack a chance to close us down at the minute. Oh, just bends it over the bar. Johnson with the set piece. Right, to come back out. Pick a man, Ellison. Ellison with the shots deflected and Borney picks it up. Disappointing. Come on, guys. Come on. Nisic. He gets it out there to Bender. Bender lays it over the top to Morton. Morton. Back to Bender. Back over the top. That's a set piece. Corner for us. Johnson with the corner. Doesn't even key the first man. Bender. Back out to Johnson. Oh, come on. Come on. So there's only Kidderminster who are chasing us. We're still five points clear of seventh. But right, come on, Simpson. Uh, why, why are you standing offside? You have one job to do. You have one job and you can't even do it. Useless fool. And that is another defeat, so that's um, two defeats and two draws in the last four games. Which is so frustrating. Um, let's just see when we're going to come back. Hopefully the form has turned around. We're going to come back for the Headness Ford game. Hopefully the form's turned around, we're still in the playoffs and we're still looking decent guys. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for next time and I will see you again.